Good morning, folks. Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Well, I got a new suit. Check it out. I like it. Um, right now we're going into the bees trying to clean out some of this this overgrowth because you know how fast my my yard always grows because it's so hot and sunny here all the time. I got a lot of growth and we've already done some but I wanted to show you a little. So we've got some chopped down away from there but these girls are loving this Biden weed and um, it's really really good for them. It's good for us too. It's got some great medicinal purposes. Y'all can check that out on um, on any anywhere where it tells about them. Um, so anyways, David's over there chopping away for me and I'm just trying to keep the stuff smoking and going. He was down in front of there and the bees were giving a fit because he's right in front of the entrance. <laughs> so I'll bring you back after we get some more done. Hey folks, catch this. David just took the lid off. They haven't started building up here yet. Y'all know we put them on and we also clean out all the honey. So this is what we got going on so far down in there. Excited to see all that. And this right here is not supposed to be in there. That's pine. Pine needles. So we'll have to clean that out a little bit. I don't know how those pine needles got in there. Uh -oh. yeah. Okay, so I don't know what we were thinking, but we just ran into the queen and I wanted to mark her so that I can see her uh, next time. And man, oh man, is she ever big. I hope to God she doesn't move out of the way and continues to uh, work on this. David's going to go out and get the pen, so... Oh, this breaks my heart. I hope she doesn't move and we get to mark her. Okay, folks, David and I are going to try to mark her on film if we can find her again. You're good at hiding. Well, she was right out in the open just a minute ago. I'm trying to touch the bees and he moves it. Turn it back over again she's, and let me see the other side. She's moved to another frame or in the bottom. Or they got her hovered right there. Protecting her. Okay, I don't see her now. Let's go to the next frame. That frame hold on, hold on. Just don't be fussing at me. I don't want to make her fly. Okay. I'd rather not mark her than her to fly off. Let's see if she moved over to this one. Uh, and y'all know how easy it is for them to disguise themselves. Yeah, they'll crawl down in the hole. This looks like a start of a, turn it towards me so I can see the other way. Seeing her on this one either. I'm going it. Okay, move that one over and let's go to the next one. Uh, 
can't do now. It's heavy. Here. Well, we're gonna go back to the, the the one that you seen her on first in a minute. I did. Whenever. We're gonna go back to it again. Okay. Look at this. This bee's got pollen hooked to it. Yeah, they, a lot of them do, baby. That's a good thing. I say we close it up and come back in when I come back from Georgia. What do you think? Let's do that, okay? One more time. She may be back on there, Kevin. You just moved it. No, this it was is the this one. one. No. I'm telling you, it was this one. Okay. It right. was not that one, but right. that was the one next to it, so she might have climbed over to that. She's not there. She's in the brood where she's at. Okay, so I found, a, we didn't get the marker, but that's okay. So I found a nifty way to do this. Uh, I'm putting this in here like so and I got a little squirt bottle and I'm just gonna looky there holy moly it doesn't have a hole in it poke a hole in that <laughs> oh my goodness I didn't see it just got a cap on it David says you turn the cap it should squirt out of there now oh Okay. So, anyways, what you got I'm putting this right here as a mixture of vinegar and um, vegetable. vegetable oil, and that attracts and kills high beetles. That's right. The what happens is that goes inside there, and the uh, the bees, when the high beetles go down in there and drown or go down in there and they're not drowned yet, the bees will close that off and propylate it and they can't get out of there. But this is really kind of cool. We did not see any hive beetles. And I think one of the reasons, we seen a couple in the... Oh well, I'm sorry. I don't know how I got it sideways. I hope, I hope that I can fix that, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, that by by uh, trapping them in there, come babe, come from that side and push them in. What are you doing? Getting them off the You're side. You're such a silly man. Stop doing that. You're going to break their legs. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Mm -hmm. I can't do nothing when you make me laugh. Can't do it when you make me laugh. Can't do it. Oh Good. my goodness, I forgot where I was at. I got it on there without killing one bee. Mm. Okay, folks, so here's how I I uh, am going to do this. I've got vinegar and, and oil in there, and I'm just going to squirt this down. Oh, i got to open the lid again. Y'all, I thought, I thought it was... It would need to be cut off, but it, it has a turn lid. <laughs> so you can lock it and nobody will we be the wiser. They'll be trying to use it and they can't use it, right? So this is a mixture of oil and vinegar. And this helps to keep the bees safe. And uh, catches, high beetles. catches high beetles. And I like to fill it up pretty good. Turn that lid so it doesn't open up. And there you go. Now, I only seen a couple of high beetles that were in there, and they were actually in one of those uh, things dead. Stop. So, well, folks, I want to show you something. We're done with the bees now, and uh, I just want to show you something. David came in here and said, Honey, you uh, you were concerned about having mangoes. You don't have to be concerned because there's mangoes all over there. Well, let me show you. Yep, there are mangoes all over it. Not as many as there should be. 
but yes there is mangoes all over it and y'all know it's very difficult for me to look upward but you can see the little green balls on the ends of these sticks get a pretty good harvest this year. A lot of them right in there. <laughs> of course this is right by the road where I always get a good said that wrong. I got two half gallons of coned honey and a quart. So that would make it, what, five quarts of honey this time? Pretty cool. Very happy to see that. Y'all been seeing the videos with all the beautiful blooms and everything, and I'm telling you, the honey taste is These are my marangas and I need to get I need to get the seeds from them next time they put seed pods off and get some moringa seeds going because the other ones dried up and just they were not very good seeds. I don't know what happened. Maybe because I had them in the car and it was too hot or something. I forgot them in the car when I was uh, going to Georgia. Anyways. That's one of David's dumpster finds. That's a, um, mm, philodendron. And looks pretty sad. Pretty, it's been in the sun quite a bit, so it's really kind of pale looking. But it will come back, hopefully. Now it's underneath this tree and getting some love. And of course, I'll take this leaves off but isn't that cute very nice find he finds me all kinds of goodies in the in the uh, dumpster and uh, also some uh, candles I'll show you those so these are the uh, candles and they have to be washed because they're dirty but isn't that pretty 